hey, you thought it was somebody else? Well, it's Fennan. And welcome back to Dark Side Detective. Today we're gonna solve, tackle at least, try and solve the case number five, possibly maybe case number six as well. But let's start with case number five, which is Loch, Loch, Loch Miss. Case summary. Dole and his blood wolves are attending a jam what? Jamboree, but the kids rang me in a panic saying something fishy was going on. Alright, I really hope that the map will be smaller than the previous one, because the police station was humongous. A loch mess. Well, here I am. Camp. What am I doing here? Whatever those kids were calling about, I don't see why Dooley couldn't take care of it. It's already here. I think this connects with the previous case where he... Dooley, our assistant, cup assistant? Our cup... Um, how's it called? The pair. Yes, assistant. <laughs> Co-worker. Um, partner, that one. Pair. Uh, Dooley is our partner and he was kind of taking care of one of the kids after one of the cases. So, main side, campsite, campsite. Campsite. This is what happens when you let the people vote on the name. Oh. Mm. The other choices were cabin in the wood not, tent pegging, and the place where you'll die. So not hard to see how it won out. Right, yeah, fair. We can drive that? Dooley was the only one that was driving so far. Jamboree sign. A poorly painted sign says Jamboree inside. First here? That's odd, but I'm sure the rest will be along soon. Just settle in and don't think about it ever again. That's actually exactly the kind of sign I'd expect here. Alright, let's enter the camp. It's been years since I came here. Memories, eh? Guys, did you go to camps when you were younger? I never went to these uh, living in a tent camps, but I did spend like 10 more, 10 plus years. Every summer I was going to different um, wandering in the mountains camps. Ish, yes. Mm -hmm. That's out of box. I guess that's the closest thing there is to a nightclub for flies. I guess, yeah. Cop car. It's too quiet when driving by myself. I need to get the radio fixed for when Dooley's not with me. Oh, hungry not hungry. That sounds... Do we know each other? And also, thank you so much for the follow. Sounds familiar. Old wooden sign. The scroll reads... Park your automobiles here, then throw the keys away. You won't need them with the fun we will have at the Jamboree. No other motives. Honest. I swear. I swear. Oh no, this one, right? Because it rides on the heart. I swear. It's gonna be fun, okay? Oh! No way! Thank this you, is Ash. their first gift sub in the channel. Oh! Ash, thank you so, so much. And this is a very nice welcoming for Hungary. We do. Mm. I was in Ash Kapow's stream. Ah! That's so perfect. Ash, thank you so much. And Hungary, I hope you'll have a wonderful time here. Now I remember. I do remember now. That's why. Okay. The rope snapped. I guess I have a sign now. <laughs> Oops, how did that happen? We have a wooden plank. One of those old jamboree signs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Booth sign. An information booth. Oh, it's Jamie. Okay. Mm. Actually, as an I is for interloper. I often ask myself, Jamie, do you think people will, will see this eye and understand that you offer reasons why they are unwelcome in this terrible place? I think it's pretty clear. Well, Jamie, you seem unwelcoming, but 
I am different. So, hello. Welcome to Lake Monster. Get out while you can. What? Why? Why? Because of the Lake Monster, of course. It's our number one attraction. Avoid it at all costs. Okay. Um, what are what are you doing here? Just a talking warning sign, or? Ooh. Is it a monster in the lake or a monster made of lake? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Every day I ask myself that self same question. Jamie, you could have followed your dream, I say. You could be a chef. But then I remind myself that I cannot taste flavors and I think I made the right choice. Probably did. I am. Um, what are you doing here? Oh, yes, yes. Me and my flights of fancy. I work at the tourism board. And this is the tourism board. Ta da! We, it and I, tell people what wonderful things to see and do in Twin Lakes. And what to avoid, like this lake and the rest of the city. Someone is 17, obviously unhappy about their life. Campsite got its name as it was the site of a terrible massacre. It's also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Unconnected, it's also the site where terrible tragedies happen each year. It's not connected at all. And it's where kids go on vacation and do fun blood wolf activities. Okay. Flights of fancy is like an unrealistic idea. Oh, or go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nogi. What I would do without you. It fills my heart with joy to see them play and with fear because everything here is so awful. Who hurt you, Jamie? Tell me more about this monster. Oh, huge big fangs it has. Or tendrils? Maybe even a big sucker thing. And the wings. Oh, if you saw them, you'd probably be wings. They'd probably be wings. They may be fins, though. Um, hard to tell at the distance. It stands well over a certain height tall and weighs an amount. You can be sure of that. Have you ever seen it? <laughs> With my own eyes? <gasps> Sorry, that was meant to be a question. With my own eyes? No. No, I have not. Has anyone ever seen it? Mm, and a lift Stop to right tell of it? Should I be quiet at that now? That is not an action game. Thank you, thank you. Your feet look brilliant. Nogi, you and talking about my feet? What's going on? Gosh dang, every freaking time. No, maybe not every time. Every other time. It's like 50% of it is about my feet. Nogi, you stop right there, okay? You stop right there. <laughs> But thank you. It's really, really funny. A lift to tell of it? No. How many people is it rumored to have taken? Rumored? Many. Proven? None. Right. A fiend it is. But a wondrous attraction for the region. Each day, I am torn between Jamie. People need the beast. It brings much business. And Jamie, the monster. It's kills. Probably. Alright. Goodbye. Run and don't look back. Seriously, how did you get this job? I married into a powerful tourism family. So you're not 17 and just unhappy and hormones boozing and oozing and schmoozing and no? Flyer. This one says, talk to a twin lakes native. Jamie, they said. Nobody's going to come all this way to talk to you. But here you are. Yeah, I'm here for the other... For other reasons. No. Is this why he's unhappy? Your hips look stupendous. Uh, that's less fit, but still a bit weird. It is. It is a bit... Nogi, why are you being weird? <laughs> it's a redo. We'll take this one. It, it does sound weird, doesn't it? It was supposed to be a nice compliment. 
This lawyer reads, come visit one of Twin Lakes. Twin Lakes. Hmm. They're not really twins, you know. One of them is adopted. Ah. Alright. A little to it manually. Oh, I'll... That's less feed, but I'll do it manually. Oh. Oh. Alright. Come see our breathtaking land. We rose 30 feet above sea level when mountains last inhaled. Cool. Twin Lakes, home to the largest population of Twin Lakes natives. We started running out of tourist attractions pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Come see Twin Lakes Sewer Gator. Very quickly. I admit it, I admit it. That one I made up. That's good. Because near the lakes uh, could be problematic. Nothing of interest here. Alright, let's go to the campfire. You're here! Blood Wolf Devon. Wasn't Devon from the library, right? I think that's the little guy. You're here! Devon, you rang? Blood Wolf Armelia. Blood Alpha Dooley has gone missing! Wah! <clears throat> missing? Tell me what happened. Much crying. I, I will not do that. Questionably authentic whales. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. We don't know. He was here last night when then this morning gone. His bunk wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him. Mold by a bear, I bet. Let's not leap to conclusions. When was the last time you saw him? Your eyes look mesmerizing today. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. That kind of works. Thanks. It looks very legit. We had night time, hot chocolate, then we went to the office to, I don't know, do office things? I guess we started there then. We? I don't do entire cases solo, just convenient sections. Come on. We've got us a dually to find. We need a dually. I need my British accent to use on somebody. And dually was the one. I thought he will be in every case. I'm no balloonologist, but I'm pretty sure this shouldn't be slimy. Yeah, all of them? Oh, kids, what have you been doing? Since campfire. Did you guys build it yourself? Emily built it all by herself. I didn't build it, I just freed the flame. <laughs> oh, it's how I get my fire, whisper a badge. Alright, Emily, can you just chill a little bit? Fire whisper badge. Blood wolves have a lot of very much not scout badges. Best not to ask. Well, with Dooley as your guardian. Alright, so, Devon, sometimes I think the fire is whispering at me to burn things. All of you, all of you to jail, just in case. But then I realize it's just Emily. Emily's insane. Snitch. Mm, Emily, got any marshmallows on you, mister? No, but aren't you meant to always be prepared? And <laughs> scouts, we were taught to never prepare. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Means we're never ready for anything, but it does wonders for the budget. Alright. Thanks for coming out. These two are on the verge of meltdown. Looking for him should calm them down. No problem. Okay. We need to find Dooley. This place is too tense without him to lighten the mood. Get it? Too tense? Too tense? Huh? Huh? I didn't get it actually. But, yeah, not a native. You know what improves a joke? Explaining it. No, I mean, that does not improve the joke. Anything here? No. Mm, nothing about the bench. That's all good. A wreck building yard. Recreation, right? Wreck building. Oh, separating to left and right. Okay windows 
There's nothing in here. The windows covers the wall. The window covers the wall. They forgot to build the room. But already had the window ordered, so... Oh, sorry. Making voices and using your vocal cords is the same when singing makes you moan. Is that you're using the trapona. The part here. I'm not bored. A dorm room. Reminds me of a summer camp out here as a kid. Oh, you've been here. More bugs. Fl flies really need a better hobby. Going around and around. Round and around and around and around it goes. That's very loud. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. This is Jack Turner, Devon's father. I just want to check in that the boy is doing okay, not struck too wide-eyed by all that nature, I hope. Uh, he's, um, fine? Sorry for calling up, Jack is a warrior. Not warrior. Warrior. Are you on the other line, Barbara? I'm just making a little call, Barbara. Just checking in on the lad, eh, Barbara? He'll be fine, Jack. There's no need to keep calling, just leave him to have a good time. Yes, well, <clears throat> no, such a, no such thing as an overprotective parent now, is there? Devon, I'm so sorry. There is a little bit of an overprotection going on. Flyers. One of this is wet and reads, Very real jamboree on this weekend. Do these pack should come. They are the best pack and will with the jamboree, which is real. Something smells fishy. It's the flyer. It stinks of fish, actually. Alright. And the other one? No. Talking the same. Emily. Stupid damp paper. Why is it damp? Is it just in genuinely, generally damp in the area? Stop trying to burn that flyer, Emily. Uh, okay. That's the problem. Devon. Paper can be damp because of Link's extreme humidity being in the jungle or getting scared and wetting itself. Probably the last one. Ooh, let's go to the dorms. Mm -hmm. Bunks. The top one was mine. Dooley was below me. Oh, they were going together in camps. Yes, I have Dooley's old bunk. There's a pack of marshmallows called Uncle Gloopy's Squiddy Delights. Squidgy Delights here. Charming. Hey! My secret stash! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Hmm, we didn't. It's marshmallows. Sticky cubes of solid sh solidified sugar. A bit... a big hit with the kids. I have to tell you something. I don't like marshmallows. They make me sick. So, no marshmallows for me. Also, it's not really a thing for us Poles to have marshmallows at the campfire. We don't do that. Okay, this is the same. Props, the bunks, same. A box of dress-up props. Let's dig out some bits and bobs. Okay. Oh, these are some bits and bobs. The Blood Wolves of America doesn't exist. Don't ask questions. Go on about your lives. Not the most welcoming poster. You gotta want the wolf. We don't have time for blowings. Alright. Everyone has different preferences. Yeah, absolutely. Do you guys like marshmallows? A very old school computer. Oscilloscope. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to be leaves. I keep telling Julie to stop buying knockoff posters. Okay. It's probably a reference. We got Dooley that as a gift. After Emily smashed the room slide, it had it coming. I like you, Emily. I really do. I think you're a very problematic child, but I don't have to take care of you in real life, so it's fun to watch. It's on and all is locked in. Oh, sorry, not that voice. I'm not proud of this, but maybe I can find some clues. Sure. Is it Dooley and me? 
That might be. Chocolate freak. Ooh. Nice. But better chocolate? Like just chocolate? Or chocolate with something? Like with the strawberry feeling or Rio or something? Those are good times. Don't worry, buddy. I'll find you. So it is us. That's so cute. Let's find those. That's so cute. Oh. He has a wallpaper with us. Oh, with nuts. Oh, yes. I, yeah. That's the only chocolate I like. With nuts. That's a very nice choice. Recycle bin. bin. There's a file in here called password. Let's see. Donnie's password is password. That's as secure as it is, surprisingly. It's better than 1234, I think. This machine is pretty much empty. This looks interesting. Greetings, fellow Blood Wolf. You and your pack, I guess, are invited to the 100% le legitimate jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come, you must. Oh. Just realized that I broke my nail. Perfect. Nigel, fellow Blood Wolf. No need to look, in, look it up. Yeah. Don't, don't look it up. But I'm more a salty liker, which is no good. No? No good? So, instead of sweets, you prefer something salty, right? Savory. Seems he wants... He was hanging out on his doluminati.com forum. Doluminati. Here's an open thread. Dear Doluminati, the government are trying to use my... Oh, sorry. It's Dully. So, it would be in his voice. Dear Doluminati, the government are trying to use my brainwaves to hunt me down so that they can pester me into film work. How can I protect myself? There's this guy who keeps bumping his post and pinging Dully. Oh, sorry, it's not him anymore. All of his posts are assigned Nigel, fellow human, for realties. Totally. Totally a human. I just tend to um, fail capture. It just so happens. I'm starting to see a pattern here, but who is Nigel? Yep. Oh, more salty stuff. Okay, so like crisps or pretzels, etc. Oh, I like pretzels a lot. Or nachos. I really like nachos. Seems he was hanging out on his Doluminaticum forum. There's an open thread. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Nigel again and folder, an empty folder. It's pretty much empty. Did somebody empty it out? Hmm. Or was it just hardly ever used? It has a sticker saying the truth is around here somewhere. I'm guessing this belongs to Dooley. This this is an odd thing for a holiday camp to have. This is Betty. It's like Seti, but better. Hello, Armelia, Devon, Emily, Detective. Why is it talking and how does it know my name? Your name is Detective? Hmm. We did say it was better than Seti. How can I help you today? Mm, what can you tell me about where Dooley went? Nothing. If Mr. Dooley wanted you to know his secrets, he'd have given you the password. But I know the password. Yeah, input password. Uh, fine. <laughs> what was the signal Dooley found? Okay. A 2.4 gigahertz ultra high frequency radio signal. That tells me nothing. Essentially, the internet, but we're. Stop trying to cyber patronize me, machine! All you had to say was fancy internet. Fair. I'm lately into almonds with rosemary and salt. And chips with vinegar. They're very fast. A lot. Oh, I vary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like chips with vi vinegar as well. It's very British in my head. I don't think I've seen it um, outside of Britain, like, regularly. UK. Outside of UK. Regularly. But almonds with rosemary and salt? I haven't seen that, and it sounds delicious. Due to stress, I eat very unhealthy currently. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
Hope you will be able to get some resets during the weekend, maybe? Maybe? What's stressing you out? If you want to share, we're here. Where did it lead him? Across the lake to the signal source. Which was? I'm afraid I don't know. I didn't go. I have no legs. What are you? How are you talking? Synthesizer fronting? I'm Betty. I monitor, gather and collect collate signals in the search for extraterrestrial life. Yeah, like SETI, I get it. I don't. Do you know SETI? I don't. Uh, SETI is a moron. I speak 13 languages. I'm a chess master and figured out the meaning of life. The meaning of life? Yes, but Dooley deleted that to make more room for his TV shows. Oh, Dooley. I need that info. If you won't tell me, I'll have to commandeer it. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. <laughs> Detective. Devon? Step aside, mister. Time to put my Yuppity AI badge to use. What? Wait. Why do you even have a badge like that? Blood Wolf secret, sorry. And you don't have a needs to know in case of a needs to know base badge. Just do whatever you're going to do. Ooh, okay, we're jumping into some kind of puzzle solving right away. I have to call a lot of public stuff and work and help. My friend helped me because it is now a list I need to remember to fix. Oh, I'm sorry, it does sound stressful, yeah. It sounds like a lot. New plate. Okay, you search the map for places the signal bounced through. I lock them in, and once we find enough of them, we should have the root blood alpha that we took. Oh, 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 oh! Here, okay. Nice. Yeah, definitely first. Oh, okay. The other one is here. We have to listen for it down. I didn't hear a difference. This looks suspicious. Just the last one already? Hmm. Where's the other one? Interesting. Secret dot. Try right there. I'm pointing at my screen. Thank you. Thank you, Nogi. Yeah, I'm going there. Can I use my arrows? I can! Okay, that's a lot better. Nogi, where was it? Nogi, I'm counting on you. Where was the place? Oh! Here! Found it! Thought he would be, you know, going in the right direction. Thank you, Nogi. Thank you, thank you. Found it thanks to you. Thank you, Nogi. Thank you. Oh! Oh, you're so good at it. You're just pointing with your finger and I know. I'm just thinking if they went all the way back. No. Exactly, yeah. And now? Where is it now? Oh, oh, oh! Ah, uh, here, of course! Thank you, Nagi, for your help, for your assistance, thank you. Huh, looks like a map of the lake. To what? To where? To Dooley? Not sure. Let's print out and see where it leads us. Alright, alright. Betty. A printout of the lake which with the route Dooley took. 
We know how to go after him then. Bundle of various costume parts in the kids' sizes. Oh, that's important. That's it from this room. Is this him again? Hello? Hello? Uh, me again, just wanted to make sure you were aware that Devon is allergic to a technology, bitten by a toaster once. He's a specialist in AI right now. He has left his EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep a wink thinking of him out there in that tech field wilderness without knowing that your EMP is up and running. In fact, maybe you'd send me the make and model num- Hello? Hello? Barbara. Barbara, I think the line has gone dead. Let him be. To the canteen we go. Oh, somebody's working and smoking next to children. Whoa. Standards. Low standards. Stu, don't ask for specifics. Oh. Right. Okay. I used to work as a camp counselor as well, for those of you who maybe not know that story. Um, I had this one horror story. Uh, I could tell you another time. That reminded me of it. Stu, don't ask for specifics. So maybe next time I'll tell you a little bit of a story time. Bulls. I use those to cut Devon's hair. Oh, the bull cut. Okay. It's why I wear this cap. Simple solutions. Okay, love that. How baked beans from the not thought through limited. All right, shelves. Metal cups, a can of Colonel Mustard's poison custard, and a box of Radaway radiation removal powder. That sounds only like Fallout 4, doesn't it? Aww. I love that you're giving yourself compliments as well in the chat. Because Mathilde, well, Leonis, your arms look absolutely beautiful today. This place has it all. Shelves, shelves, yes. Tubing? Some tubing for cleaning out the, sh the tank. I don't know why I would say the shark tank. Just immediately. The tank. Just normal tank. I think I can get away with taking a small length. So we have some tubes. We took all. But we say it was just a small, small thing. When I was last here, this was full of plastic fish. That's progress for you. They evolved. They hatched. All right. Thank you, Nogi. I got cake arms. Yum! Yeah! Yum! Yummy, yummy. So, Emily. The canteen is the best place to come for knives. Why do you need knives? Are you trying to suggest that at your age, you don't know why knives are useful? Wait, what age do you think I am? A hundred? I've heard that. And it was quite accurate. I can recite pi to 34 ingredients. What's the food like out here? Surprisingly good. Agnes may be a grump, but she knows how to microwave anything to perfection. Awesome. Pots. They look brand new. That needs no pots to microwave some meal. Can I take one then? Whatever. I don't need some. Thank you. All right. Orange cake. Oh, my favorite emojis. This is really fun. Orangutan. I've never seen this one. Cute. Oh, that's a lot of sweets. Oh, wow. Oh, what's mooncake? I know that it's a Chinese thing. I don't think I've ever tried it. What? Have you seen Dooley around? I saw him yesterday. Chased him away from my stick. Would have ruined it. He was adding flavors. Okay. Not many people here. And what's am I? Other people police? Sometimes they's here, sometimes they's ain't. But you're here. Oh sorry. I didn't know you was people police. I thought it's not. Okay. Okay. Mooncake is when you pull your pants down and sit. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> good one. A very kid suits my son's position. 
kill him. Let's save it. Okay. Not much from here. Well, two items from here actually, so not bad. Outside of that, not much lore. Outside we go. We should follow this, I think. But before, pot. Got some pots from 10 years ago. I can call I can tell because they still have the price stickers on them. Never used. A tube from the aquarium. This is where Dooley would say that's so they can breathe underwater. <laughs> I miss that guy. Uh, lakeside. Let's go. Okay. Why are you protesting at the middle of nowhere? At the middle of the night? What I have seen when we talk mooncake is looks like it can be both sweet and salty. Yeah. Something to have whole eggs in them. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Not maybe the whole eggs, but the whole yolk. This is why I think that I would love it. I love eggs. I think it could be nice. Water is made out of ice and heat. I'm not sure that's entirely correct. I always wanted to be a water wolf. A water wolf? Like a regular blood wolf, but we also learned how to locate and scuttle submarines. Why would you want to learn that? And for when they come? Who? The submarine people, obviously. <laughs> oh, you're so old. You're not getting anything. Blood Alpha Dooley says that government is a shared illusion we all experience from chemicals put into the water. He's a part of the... Uh, who puts these chemicals into the water? The government. I love Dooley. So there's gas can. An old gas can. It's empty because I emptied it. Let me guess, to start the fire? No, I poured it onto Devon's bed so everyone would think he peed himself. What? I gotta make sure others pack other packs don't want to poach him from us. Sure. Oh, sorry about that. Cool. Oh Barry? We've enough food to wait this beast out for days. And Larry. All kept nice and fresh in tin foil. Cool. There's a moon. I've got my eye on you. I've got my eye on you, moon. But they're watching all the night crimes, but saying nothing. Obstruction of justice, that's what that is. I know the moon's not a person. I was only joking with it. Joking with the moon? Yes. I like that. I was asking Barry, okay, Larry? Are you here to see it too? See what to? We've been waiting ages and ages for it to show. We're starting to get bored of waiting. But we're not going home without seeing a monster. Well, good luck with that. Why are you so eager to see a monster? We're 100% of Twin Lakes Cryptozoology Club. We're always on the hunt for lake monsters, sewer gators, krakens, and around winter yetis. People don't know this, but there's a lot of strange things happening in Twin Lakes. Believe you? Uh, believe you me? Believe me, I know. Ha! Sorry, guy. But the cops don't know anything about what really goes on here. Yeah, go back to getting kittens out of trees and leave the real detectiving to us. We don't do that. Do you not have something better to be doing? Nope. Not the thing. Okay. Like with the shell, I'm going to cook a stir fry, Bjerg. <gasps> Sounds amazing. Okay. See you soon, no game. See you soon. Unless the monster gets to you. Can I steal your boat? An old boat with no gas and a hole in it. Maybe I don't want to steal that. I'll need you to fix this. If I want... I'll need you... Okay, not... I thought that that was breaking the fourth wall and he's talking to me. I'll need to fix this if I want to use it to follow this map across the lake. 
So maybe with marshmallows. If I tried that in the academy, they'd they'd have kicked me out. Can we combine that? The marshmallows are sticky, but they need to be in paste form for that to work. That bag was too sticky, so I'll store them in here for now. So we have a pot of marshmallows. I wanted to mm, melt them. There was a bonfire at the very beginning, right? Can we do that? Let's melt these mallows down, gang. Melt them to the ground! Oh, Emily, sweet Emily. There's a goop and boop. Well, the plank is sticky now. Go team! Go, go team! Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Now we can take care of that. That's the whole fix. Yeah, now to find some gas. That might be problematic. Do we need to get rid of the water first or not? Okay, that is a good idea, but maybe not for now. We need some gas. Where can I find gas? From my car? Great, now you just lift up the car and pour the stuff out, no? Then I'm going to need another way to fill this can. Or the tubing? Okay. Stand back, it's time for me to summon up some fire juice. Slurp, slurp. Slurp, slurp, Emily. Good work, I guess. Now, hand it over. What? Give me the gas can. I should have known you were on the other side. Oh, full gas can. Okay, perfect. We're doing very well this time, aren't we? We'll see. Knock on the wood. It's the beginning of the case. Splish, splash, splush. That's it, filled up. I guess now that it's working, I best head out and check the lake. We best head out, mister. Too dangerous, kids. Tell you what, you keep an eye out here in case Dooley comes back and I miss him. But danger is my middle name. Oh, I know, Emily, I know. No, it's not. I just write danger on all your paperwork. Oh. We have to go, mister, we have to. It's against my better judgment, but then most things I do are. If you get. In you get. Well, if you if you get it, you get it. If you catch my dream. Alright. Who are you? You have a camera, a photographer, or you want to catch snap a picture of the monster, don't you? Hey, I recognize you. Oh it's Dick! Dick Brickman here, reporting from here, the place I am, to you, wherever you are, from the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Bickerman. What are you doing here? I, Dick Brickman, not Bickerman, sorry. Dick Brickman. I'm here to report the news, and the news of the day is that there is a monster living in this lake. There's not really breaking news, is it? That's not really breaking news, is it? People have been talking about the supposed monster for an age. Breaking news! Police admit to knowing about the monster for, and I quote, an age. Sneaky. How did you get here? I don't see a boat. You can't keep the press out, and I, Dick Brickman, am the press. <laughs> so what's the scoop on the monster? We're here, live, life, sorry. <laughs> We're here, live, at the scene where the investigation has taken us thus far. What will we see? Is this where the monster lives? Will we finally get a signed photo of the creature? Tune in as soon as I, Dick Brickman, of the Twin Lakes News, have absolutely anything to share. You know there's no audience audience here, right? No need to talk like your meat broadcast. I, I can't imagine it stays in your head. Breaking news, detective. You're here. An audience of four. An audience of four, or four million. The news has to be hard. Don't forget to tune in to Twin Lakes News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman Investigates, featuring me, Dick Brickman. Where I, Dick Brickman, will follow any lead on the creature. Any lead at all. Perfect, okay. So you have a camera. Hands off the camera, we're rolling. 
it's the camera obscura or the it's a Polaroid camera, yeah. And and the man's Polaroid camera. Doesn't matter. Dick Brickman will give his man or monster on tape. And you can rest assured that I'm not going anywhere until I do, unless I had reason to believe the monster was hiding somewhere else. Ah, okay, all right. We'll need to get rid of him, probably. I think we're lost. Already? Pretty creepy place. I bet there, there are monsters in that forest. Sorry, I'm changing the voices for the children. I didn't think they would be ongoing characters and just the high voice is not really good for my throat. Let's hope not. Alright, let me have a little bit of a sip sip and we can go. Okay. <laughs> Jetty. Emily, you're the only reasonable one. Tell me, what do you think? I've buried many unwanted gifts in these woods. Can you orienteer us through these woods? That's a scout thing. Instead, we learn how to block ourselves from the all-seeing eye of GPS satellites. I don't like dark things, like the dark and night Tim. Do you mean nighttime? I don't like nighttime, but only because that's when night Tim comes to whisper in my ear about the crushing realities of adulthood. Oh, night Tim. Mm, night Tim. That is an amazing idea for a D&D character. Fireflies. Fireflies! Flies on fire! Oh, Emily. You're a crazy idea for a D&D character as well. I wonder what secrets this forest hides. Not that I've any real urge to find out. Okay. Cave mouth. Does it say print out of the lake? No, we can't look up and see where we are. Okay. A sign. Nothing here. No serene. I guess we should keep looking then. You really are a Dooley student. Yeah. Badly hidden cave entrance. Alright. That's the only thing we can do. There seems to be a cave behind it. Obviously fake cover. Let's go! Um, you guys, you guys should guard out here. Okay. I'm gonna mess up anyone who comes near. Surprising music is very surprising. I'll get that a little bit down. Oh, sorry, didn't read that. I'll have a loo. Oh, hey, detective. Oh, it's Dooley. Didn't get him. In okay, didn't recognize him in a hat. I'll have a loo. Oh, hey, detective. Dooley, what's going on here? Hmm? Oh, this is Nigel. Um, hi. He's a fellow truthy, invited me here to help with the problem. Right, are you done? Can we go? No, and uh, no. I need Dooley's help. Dooleyminati.com and he are famous in truthy circles, you know? Ooh. Yeah, he's cute. What's the problem? The government wants me because I am a monster. A talking monster. Frankly, I am surprised you haven't noticed. Anyway, I need protection. Like a gun. <laughs> Look at this guy. Let's solve everything by shooting it. I don't even own a gun. Stop talking about guns. I'm sensitive about my lack of fingers. We need to chase all that narc outside. They're closing in on Nigel and fast. Narc? You mean the reporter? Clearly a government spy. No, we get rid of him. Kill him. And once he's gone, what you need, Nigel, is a mind hat. That'll keep them off your trail. A mind hat? Mind hat? A protective layer of some kind of metal, maybe aluminium? Do you mean a tinfoil hat? That sounds perfect! That'll stop them using your mind waves to locate you. Genius, I knew you'd be able to help. Dooley. 
Okay, Dilly. Yep, it, it, it's quite nice here. But since I can't leave, maybe you can help protecting Nigel from the dark. Just get rid of the guy outside and then get the mind hat to keep them from hiding again. Dooley, the guy outside is joined the mist from TV. Perfect cover. Oh boy, those government types are crafty. Best convince them that Nigel is hiding out somewhere else. Get them off his tail. We need something to make them believe. He's, that's the case. It's open on the same forum page as Dooley's machine was. And the keys are damp. Very damp. You know what else was damp? Papers. It's full of seafood takeaway wrappers. Don't judge me. Blood Alpha Dooley. Yeah. Sticky tape, a staple in everyday adventurous toolkit. It's full of fake jamboree flyers in various stages of readiness. His lack of hands explains his, the childlike nature of the posters, but nothing explains how he got a craft table and computer in here. Some tape, some ink. Okay. Loud for me. All right. Is it fine? I think it should be better, maybe. Well, now it got super quiet, but. Um. Oh, do you like that? It's my human disguise. That's how I got into camp and convinced Dooley into coming with me. That looks familiar. I was certain he was another blood alpha. Very believable. Someday I hope to work in the film makeup department. I think I have a knack for it. Hmm. Nigel, what will you tell me? Hi? So, a monster. A talking monster, but I don't like to talk about it. We're all God's creatures, I guess. Is that right? We don't have much religious stuff under the sea. I just read the books I saw borrowed from the campsite. I'm not sure, what are you doing in Twin Lakes? It has good dental plans. But you don't have teeth. But if I did, this would be the place to be. Kidnapping, eh? I think that's an unfair way to describe luring somebody to a place under false pretense, trapping them in a cavern cavernous lair, and refusing to let them leave. Why do you think the government are after you? Hollywood. I'd be cheaper than CGI and monster movies are all the rage these days. But I'm not interested in life or fame. I prefer to work in makeup and help the real stars shine. Chat later. I know what we can do, I think. Somebody will need to be dressed up as a monster. And these are child sized, so I would say it has to be a child. Okay, gang. The good news is that Dooley is inside and is safe. The bad news is that he can't come out yet. Why not? Um, there is a problem. It's a blood alpha test. It's for your don't ask questions badge. Yes, I've been wanting that. Oh, I've been wanting for that one for ages. Let's do this. I need you, some of you, one of you, to wear it. I could get these guys to dress up as a monster. Hello, oh, hello, Moggy. How is your steer fry? To dress up as a monster, but I need to find somewhere nobody will see. Otherwise, these guys will be spoiled. Somewhere that nobody will see. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. It's very nice. I'll just have a drink then of tea. I envy you, 
Yum, 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 yum. We could disguise them, they just need to get inside somewhere. How about here? Nobody knows that we're here. Let's see what kind of outfit we can make out of all this. It does work. I thought that I would choose one child. And I chose all three. It's three Goblin Woblin. The Nogi has returned. Yes, resummoned Nogi. Bigfoot. Already in flying bunnies. Utterly convincing. Alright, so we need you. We can't walk in this. Can we take it off? I guess. Oh, I don't want you to do that. I need to take a picture. Dubis Nark. Dick Bookman here, reporting from here, the place I am, to you, wherever you are, for the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Bookman. I love the fact that his name is Dick. I mean, it's Richard, right? But... Haha, <laughs> I'm 12. Ah, don't forget to tune in to the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman's investigations featuring me, Dick Brickman. Where I, Dick Brickman, will follow any lead on the creature. Any lead at all. Any lead at all. Yeah, it's a pole level, it doesn't work that way. We need just one child to wear it. They will just wear it? Back into the Bigfoot outfit. Can you just shout? Stop that. Shout! Quit it! Leave me alone! My spleen! Sticking things together and usually... Uh, usually, my fingers to each other. This must be the ink he used to write his flyers and signs. There's still some left. Maybe just this one to do. I don't want you to do that. How should I attract him to see it? Do you guys have an idea? How to make him see? Because I don't want them to walk. Because they can't. Should they go on the lakeside? And wear it somewhere else so he can see. They won't wear it here. Rig building. Can you wear it here? Oh no. Will that happen every time? Hello? Again, and it just popped into my mind that I don't know the mix of fibers in Devil's uniform, and he may be near, though not too near, I hope. Fire while at camp. Could you tell me uh, the composition? Um. And while you're at it, could you run me through your fire plan? Just a basic will do. Staff training, frequency of extinguishers, tests, ex extinguisher tests, your list of emergency helicopter pilot number. Jack, who are you on the phone to? Nobody, darling. Very overprotected, Dad. Hmm. And we're getting stuck. We went a little bit too far. What do we want and need? Sticky tape and ink to anything or Betty. Can we do that? A few well placed swirls and faked sighting. <gasps> that was enough? Okay, I thought that that might be for later time. Wait, fake sighting. How about that? Goodness me, oh my breaking news! The monster has been sighted elsewhere. This is me, Dick Brickman, signing off so I can sign back on another day from another bay. Perfect. Alright, okay. Now here. He's gone. Is the Nark gone? He's gone. Is the hat ready? Not yet. There's no time to waste, detective. You need to make that protection device. Ah, uh, right. He wanted me to get him the tinfoil hat. The guys in the bay on the other side 
We're talking about something, right? With the aluminium hats. Are you here to see it too? I need tin foil. Think you guys can help me out? Sure. Oh, great. No way, Barry. Aunt Tracy made this for us, and they'll get soggy if we give away our tin foil. You're right, you're right. We might be waiting for a long time for that monster to show up. And until we see some proof there is a monster here, we're staying, which means the foil stays too. Sorry, detective. See you soon. Unless the monster gets you. Can you wear it now? I know, I know. We need to get the camera, I think, now that he's gone. Yeah, he left the camera. He left his camera, I guess I should bring it back to Lost and Found later after I use it. And then, guys, wear this. Look at that, let's see. It's totally a Bigfoot. And we'll take a picture. We will take a picture. Say whatever Bigfoot say when they're having their picture taken. Wait, should that be Big Feet? Big Feet? You received item. Aha, yeah, we're doing well. I am considering if I should tell about the short term dopamine craziness I shopped. Hmm. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Aren't those big? Yeah. I hope that the picture is just the face. Not showing the feet. Can't walk. Yeah. A crystal dragon. How big is it? That sounds exciting. And what kind of crystal? Tell me everything. Tell me what you bought. What you really, really bought. Look. I found a photo you two may be interested in. Some proof! Finally! We knew he was real. Wait until we show the gang. But there's no gang, it's just you two. You said 100% of the... But the... Tinfoil hats? Oh, in the cooler, yeah. They seem to have left their cooler food and tinfoil. I have some of that. Just tinfoil? Don't you want food? No? It's a milky white dragon. Oh. That sounds good. Big when we talk about its crystal. It's Afghan Jade. Mm, milky white. Sounds amazing. Sounds really good. I want a picture. Send me a picture if you can. I'd love to see that. Hope it makes you happy. When will it come? Do you know? Can I make it? Some tinfoil. If I can stick it together. I can make a tinfoil hat. You don't need tape for that. If I on, uh, if only my parents could see me now. Hmm. Let's do this. <gasps> oh, okay. It's another part of the not really puzzle, but no, that's not what I meant. Uh, but it doesn't really get there. Okay. My bad then. Can it be anywhere? No. So it must be here. Good. And this here. This part here. This here? No. This here, though. And then... Here. Here. And here. Perfect. Yeah! Tape that in. That should do it. Now, I just need to tape this here, fold that here, and voila! A tinfoil hat. I'd better take this back to the cave and give it to N Nigel. Okay. It was. Okay, I will send the photo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, I have a hat. Is the narc gone? Yep, he's gone. Okay, give him the hat. And there you go. It's a thing of beauty. Now what? With the narc distracted and Nigel untraceable, it's time for him to find a new life, free from the watchful eye of the man. Big brother. Oh, he has a hat. Can we stay in touch? Of course, just email me from hard to trace location like phone booths, coffee shops, and uh, Mariana Trench. Okay then, thanks again, Dooley. Why Dooley? Why not me? Poor guy, I hope he shakes off those government narcs. Dooley, we're government narcs. Speak for yourself, I don't tell the man nothing. 
good to have you back, Tilly. Uh huh. Ah, oh, we're out of gas, aren't we? The petrol. Looks like you're staying here with us. Swords all around? Ah, oh, that's a nice day. Oh, and the guitar. Yay! Where the blood is wolves around, who keeps their sniffers to the ground? We do! We do! Uh -huh. Case closed. That was okay. Surprisingly smooth. Okay. Is that a good day for Fennen? Or, or what happened here? Because that was problemless. Perfect. Okay. I'm feeling good about it. Now that we're boosted up our morale, let's go and try to sell, solve the last case, the last full case of the game, which is Dawn of the Dead. Dawn. Okay. So, the chief summoned us all to the debriefing room about the Code Red citywide issue. Okay. Will there be actually zombies? So far, we had ghosts in the game, and even a monster, talking monster. But zombies? Maybe. Is everyone here? Good. There are riots all over the city, so it's all hands on deck. Oh no, Mac King. Oh, hateful. Hate Mac King. And that means you too, Mac Lame. Time to do some real police work. Are you sure your iffy stomach is able for it? You two, stop it. Officer Murakami was wounded in the field, but he's been cleared by medical to give us a briefing on what's happening out there. Thanks, Chief. Guys, I've not seen anything like it before. Hordes of angry citizens shambling around, attacking one another and smashing up the place. It all seems so mindless. We don't know what co what's causing this behavior, but we need to get out there and stop it. Be careful out there and good luck. Squad dismissed okay hate you mock king okay murakami can you tell us something more how's your arm i'll live thanks perp tried to bite me but i got away crazy right perp sorry my queen i know this isn't your usual kind of case but i need everybody out on the streets for this no problem chief happy to help mm -hmm. what's on the television Oh, it's our trusted Dick Brickman. Dick Brickman here, reporting live from the city hall. Where I, Dick Brickman, am solving being... I'm slowly being approached by a hungry-looking politician. It is a zombie case. Are you up to date with the latest fashion trends? Old moldy clothes are in while looking alive is out. Oh, okay. These are not the real things. Local cat. Saves fireman from tree. Mm, what a twist. Did his parents hate him? Probably. Property prices soar as previous owners return, resulting in evictions across the city. McBurger reports spike in the requests for brain meat. Oh, now I'm confused. City hall productivity levels reach record high huh mr politician all reports suggest that the city is in a state of panic can i get a response <sighs> same old party line when will these politicians live up their acts funny okay the whiteboard according to this the entire city is in a state of panic arrests hospitalizations collateral damage and purchase of spooky soundtracks are all up. Huh. Interesting. Um, my name is next to the museum, a shop downtown, and the old mafia mansion. Looks like it's gonna be a busy day. Okay. Okay. New detective. Where is your partner? My first day on the job and we get to tackle a riot? How exciting! Ten bucks the newbie doesn't make it through the day. Hey! I'll take that by... I... I'll take that bet, my king. You'll do fine, detective. Actually, what's your name? Fish. Fresh fish. 
You're German? I love a good riot. Nothing makes me happier than to get some bait and singing practice in. Cool. Where is Dooley? I want Dooley. It's my favorite. Better get Dooley and hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you coming back no more, no more, no more. Let's go to museum first, huh? How about that? Why is the door smashed in? Looks like a break-in. Looters? Maybe. But they tend to go for televisions, not tran tapestries. Let's check it out. It'd be really hard to sell later, right? These are very, very uh, pricey things in the museums, but, you know, is they tracked when you try to sell it afterwards? I think, I would assume. Posters. Seems there is an Egyptian theme display. At the moment, I just plotted saliva, sorry. Ooh-wee, those Egyptians were big. Stop Stop right there, criminal scum. Hi Ace, how are you doing? Good to see you. And a frog. A croak. Good to see you. How are you doing, Ace? Those pictures aren't so scale aren't to scale. I knew that. I think our car is old enough to be on exhibition here. Well, let's go inside. That's not Egyptian themed, right? After watching extensive historical footage, Twin Lakes researchers believe this beast escaped a Costa Rican theme park in the early 90s. Presumed cause of death is drowning as its tiny arms wouldn't have been great for swimming to the mainland. Whoa, the team here must be top of the field. Okay. Dooley, what do you think? Prehistoric? Surely all this history is historic. How can something happen before history? And that's... that's... never thought about it that way. Thank you, Dooley. Ooh, that's something for Noggy. An orangutan. I'm okay, you? I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. We love Ace of Skates for how brave they are. A lot of bravery today, aren't there? Three brave people. Yeah, three brave people here. That's quite. A, there is a tendency, but October is coming. Okay, October. I will just put it on October vibe. This is what the plastic skeleton looks like. Scientists think it may be what the human body was modeled on. Fascinating. Where? Why? Okay. The whole skeleton. That's the same. I thought the plague will be and a short skeleton, an ape. Probably. What a fine institute of learning this is. Yeah, well. Curiosity cabinet. It's locked. I wonder if I can open it somehow. Okay. What do you think this room is anthropologizing for? Like apologizing? Oh, do we? <gasps> Ooh, what on earth? That looks like a mummy? I just have the sound of um, the zombie from Minecraft here. Roar. Smashed cabinet. Looks like some jewelry is missing. The plague says the gem of Osiris. Osiris, the Egyptian death god. I can help but think. That's tied in with what's going on across the city. Whose comeback Quack. will that be? Quack. Quack. Thank you, Leonis. Thank you. Roar. Hmm. I think that there is a culprit here, and I bet it's gonna be the librarian. What do you think? Betting right away. Librarian. Scepter. A scepter. A scepter? I don't even know her. Wait, who are we talking about? Maybe the scepter. Possibly, yes. Mm, you think so, Lewis? You're on my side. Who else could that be? New character. But if it's not a new character, then either her or Rexa. But I think Rexa would help us and not be against us. We'll see. This must be where that money came from. Mummy. Hello. Oh. I don't know how or why, but that thing must have come out of the sarcophagus. I bet. I better look for a way to lure it back in there. 
and the scepter, an old Egyptian rod. Look, detective, it looks like a fancy fire poker. Hmm. Old stone tablet. You'd have to be pretty sick to try swallowing that medicine. Probably. And we are not going anywhere else. Can I make you go in? And this? What did it say? I don't think it's interesting in anything it can't eat. So there is nothing that we can do. I came out here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, we can't proceed. So I think in this case we have to go to another place and just collect things from different places. That means a lot of locations. I think the mummy came from Egypt inside the pyramid. Oh, yeah. I think our car is old. Yeah, I wanted to go somewhere else. Can we? We can't? We can't? Wait. Oh. My assumption was wrong. Yeah. So we have to do something. I wonder if I can use this to dislodge whatever he ate. Bird bones. That must have been Tony Rex's last meal. Tony. The T has to stand for something. T-Rex? Tony Rex? Okay. Bird bones. Alright. Okay. Would you like some? I think I'll try something else. Here? Nothing seems to be happening. Okay. Hmm. As the character said, archaeologists are his historic thieves. Yeah. Yeah. A hungry Rex. Would you like some bread bones? No. You. I think I'll try something else. Would you like to open it? This might work as a makeshift. Oh, this is very poignant click. Very poignant click, so it does things that you wouldn't think it would. This might work as a makeshift lock picking kit. A very fragile kit. Ooh, okay, puzzle. Maybe if I match these bones to the tumblers in the lock, it's I'll be able to open the cabinet. Well What do you want me to do? That bone doesn't seem to fit. Maybe one of the other bones will work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know what they want me to do. This. That bone doesn't seem to fit. How about this one? Oh, one by one. Alright, yeah, I understand now. Okay, not bad. Just the opposite things. Okay. All right. Okay, match the lock. Look, okay, not lock, but kind of connected. The bones look like the tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems to be it. Now to see what's inside. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know this. You're my biggest, like, how's it called? Fan, a cheerleader. Thank you, thank you so much for that. Oh, a brain jar, a jar of pickled brains. I prefer pickled onions myself. What? Perfect. And any other? Eye of a newt. There's an old note on the jar. Sporing for soup. Will I return ASAP? T. T-Rex? Okay. Collection of earwax gathered from the museum staff. This seems to be filled with wasps. Living. Angry wasps. <gasps> Can we take it? Used contact lenses. Urine sample found on site. It's stuffed full of old invoices. It's getting worse and worse. The wasp. No. If they are like, what's it called? There is this type of wasps that are dangerous to your life. Yeah, just keep them in jar. I don't care. Some jam. Drawing of some jam. Okay. Some bad juju. Oh no. What do you think this room? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, mommy, get the brain. Sniff sniff. Yum. Give the brain to him. We'll 
Oh, giving the brain to him will achieve nothing. Well, now I know that he likes it. So I repeat killed brain, but I need to take care of some undead business. Yum. And we'll close him, right? Yes. Have you a snack? There's a case closed pun in here somewhere, but uh, there's just no time. Case closed. I like that. Okay. A mummy eating brains. Yeah, because it's a zombie thing. Yeah. Let's let that slip. Okay. I don't think we'll find anything else of note here. Let's go. Hello. Let's go. Let's get to the next crime scene. Okay. Museum done. Chinatown. China. This is where you got McNugget's retirement urn. What a fun party. You spent the entire time chasing around monsters. Chasing memories, you mean? Links. Back alley mystic shops are never run by Mac, Killy, Cuddy, or Sanchez, are they? Wangs. I'm oh, sorry. Not wings. Wangs. There are debates whether mummy or zombies are the same. Are you serious? I've never heard of such a debate. I can see the confusion, but... Well, zombie is a body that's alive. If the mummy was put back to life, then it is a zombified mummy, yeah. But without it, it's not a zombie. Mummy is a mummy. It's a ritualistic burial. Nothing else, nothing more. I would more argue that vampires are like zombies. They eat on different things, because as far as I know, vampires drink blood and zombies eat brains. But both dead. No, these are closer, I would say. Mummies usually not animated, therefore not zombie. Animated? Zombie. Barred window. Looks like we're barred from there, Dooley. I don't get it. It's a window, not a club. I was... never mind. There's a stringless tennis racket in there. Okay, why? Stringless rocket I found. A racket. I found in the trash. Why was I searching in the trash, you ask? Shut up, that's why. Okay. Anything more? Nothing else in there but takeout containers and dirty magazines. So they're a deep clean. Mm -mm. Oh, I want to see more. Oh, dirty magazines. That was part of a pan. I'm sorry. Didn't get that. Uh, I can't make out anything inside, but these flyers advertise some local businesses. The Grain Distribution Company, Howland Oats. The Sanctuary for Sensory Deprived Animals, Deaf Leopards. And the shop I buy my coats in. Fleece wool max. Fleece wool, okay. So this place had a layer of dry ice adding to the mystery, but now I see that it's just crack in our exhaust pipe. Oh, it's not fog, it's our car, okay. And this is open, and let's go inside. Are those paws? Nah, they couldn't be. They're moving. Help, I'm trapped, get rid of them. Mr. Wong. Oh, it's a man. Sorry. But the zombies were kind of developed compared to some zombies, since there was a level of communication between them. You mean people who created the idea of zombies? Or when there are zombies, they are communicating? Sorry, I got a little bit lost. Nice lanterns. A shop like this runs on ambience. 80% of all sales are because customers can see what they're buying. I see. Boy, oh boy, the stuff these people believe in, eh? Healing crystal. Crystals used for some form of healing, I guess. So this is sharp. Hmm, that might be useful. And the crystal will come in handy. In the I am a legend. Oh, I am legend. The zombies seem to be gathering in pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where some zombies don't pack up. Yeah, absolutely. A dream catcher. Okay. Are we going to snitch everything? Snatch? 
and snatch, snatch everything. Given my current predicament, I'm starting to think none of these lucky charms work. I think he will say, I'm starting to think you are here to rob me. Is that school real? That's the school of the previous shop owner. Her will stipulated I keep it on display at all times. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I understand. Oh, he's here. And he's afraid of these, probably. Pile of books. Various books on positive living, feng shui, and harassing the energy of the secret hell beast to control your enemies. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I... Feng shui stopped me there. That's pretty. You should buy it. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Now's not the time to be shopping. Carpe diem? That's what I say. That's not... Never mind. Carpe diem? Because the carpet? Okay. But if I think she isn't about that... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Undead trinkets. What the hell? Monkey paws all, all came to life. Not feeling so lucky now. I hope the riot city-wide aren't all undead related. Let's worry more scary. Get rid of them. Hmm. What's this? Chinese puzzle box. I can't figure out how to open it. No idea what's inside. Oh, we opened that large trunk with a sturdy lock. It's empty inside. I should get the trinkets here, right? Maybe we can swoop them with this. I think I need a way to catch them, not bash them. <gasps> can we combine that? The rope is too tight. I need to loosen that somehow. Okay. I can use the sharp edges to cut the dream catcher up. Yeah. Oh, and we destroyed it. Aww. It was probably very nice. It's a bit loose for a game of squash, don't you think? No, we don't need that. One careful swipe and... Okay, I've caught them all! Monkey paws. <laughs> that looks great. And let's put that here. And locked. That's this area. <laughs> locked down. Thank goodness you came, officers. I don't know how else I'd have a sk You guys? You couldn't send some other cops? We know each other? The whole force is busy. This is harassment. You called us. We have history. Imagine it was a thousand UNC trinket. Probably it was. Yeah, like animal parts, etc. I think this would be on the pricey side. Oh, you mean the... Uh, not locking the destroying of the Dreamcatcher. I think Dreamcatchers are rel rel relatively cheap. Or at least cheap to produce and then later you can, you know, sell them for a bigger price. Hello again, Wang. Wang? Who's Wang? My name is uh, Detective McQueen. Hmm. Looks like we got the wrong guy. Oh, dolly. What happened here? My lucky rabbit's foot, the monkey paws, the body out back. They all started moving. Body out back? I never said that. You've got no proof. Dooley, you hear him? Mm, what's happening? I tuned out. You were asking so many questions. Oh, this started not long after my store was robbed last night. Ooh. Ooh, okay. We found those gremlins in the end, Wang. Not to my shop, you didn't. You sold them to Dooley. Well, that's, that's the history you have, okay. I couldn't have sold them. I couldn't have sold him something that doesn't exist. Wing. You just said wink to me. No, I didn't. Wink. Wang, you won't say. Tell me more about the robbery. Last night, some goons floated in. They smashed the place up and took some entire illegal ritual components. Ritual components doesn't sound legal. Good thing for me that the evidence was stolen then. Hmm. Who floated in? Someone being possessed? Ooh. Ooh. Or somebody who likes jewelry. I still remember that the Pharaoh case was crashed and jewelry was missing. That was kind of weird. Alright, thank you so much. Water, I guess, Nogi. <gasps> oh, if I spilled that, I would be so mad. Cheers to you, Nogi. Thank you.
we'll see. Floated in a green haze. It sounds like dark siders to me. Oh, because the green. I don't think we'll find anything else here, do we? I'm not sure what dark siders are doing here, but we need to get to the next crime scene. Museum Chinatown, don't mention. Oh, that's very close to the sea. Holy moly. Oh my. We have reports on a, of a break-in at the Don's old mansion. Let's check it out. Detective, the city is in chaos. Surely we've better things to focus on than the derelict building. We don't know who they are or... Thank you for using that. Thank you. We don't know who they are or why they broke in. This mansion belongs to Mafia Don. For all we know, there is a hidden weapon cache in here. Given how crazy things are across the city today, whatever they want, we had better make sure they don't get it. It says stay out. Luckily, the law doesn't apply to us. Duly, the law does apply to us. Just not in this particular case. Cute. I like that. These things remind me of some of the people we've met on our cases. <laughs> the gargoyles, okay. Was that a good use of police resources and time? No. Was it fun? Yes. About the sandcastle, okay. There is the moon. Have you ever noticed that the moon is always full in twin lakes? Huh. It's cheaper to reuse assets, I guess. <laughs> Some commentary on game development. Palm trees. He must have been doing pretty well for himself to have a beach side house with palm trees. Maybe crime does pay after all. Maybe it does. The sand? The sea. I wonder where Nigel ever swam off to. Nice try, detective, but I'm not giving up this location, his location, and to a government stooge. Dooley, I helped him escape, and you're a govern- Don't even try, detective. My god is up. U P P Up. Okay, U P P Up. Alright. I think we should approach the mansion. So what kind of stuff did this Don do? You name it, he did. Uh, you name it, he did it. Racketeering, money laundering, bootlegging, and more. And more? As if making tennis rackets, washing money, and forcing people to wear boots wasn't bad enough. Right. Oh, sorry. Approach mention, yeah. Dooley getting himself locked up. Dooley would never. We could lock up Dooley, for he's weird sometimes. His boarded windows make it hard to see much inside. No, no, not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Sorry. Sir, you can't be here. This place is condemned. Brains. That's not right. Is there somebody there? Yes. Are you okay? I'd be a lot better if I wasn't trapped in here by that thing. Are you trying to think logically? No it. No it. Hold on. We'll do something. Oh. I see what we can do. We can go outside. Okay. I've seen this painting before. Don Cafoni. Rocket. Don Cafoni. That's one mean looking mobster. He was also mean acting. Do you think those two facts are related? Seems to be the robot that holds the chandelier in place. Seems to be stuck. Ooh, kitchen sounds like a knife. You know, this place isn't so bad. A leak of paint, some new furniture, get rid of the maniac butler, and it could be a nice HQ for urban blood wolfling. Yeah. What a potentially conveniently located table. Oh, we won't... Uh -huh. Listen, we won't get a knife, we will get a candle. Is my guess. Surprisingly tame couch for a mob boss to have in his house. Okay. Foyer. Okay. Broken cupboard. I can't open this one. I wonder what treasures are inside. Not enough to force it open, however. Very supplies including candles. I think I'll take one. Yes. Told you. But we have to have something to start the fire. The zombie was speaking didn't eat police detective brains. He was very nice about it. Very polite. Yes. 
We could use these at the Blood Wolf camp. Some of the ruins are pulled by melting marshmallows all over them. <gasps> Diabolical. Or what? Some of what are those monsters. Somebody have cleaned this cup. I'm sure they won't mind me taking their sponge. Steel wool. Oh, that sponge. Okay. <coughs> what a stink. Somebody forgot to clean out the fridge when this place was condemned. Anything in there I can eat? Duly, it's all rotten. But I'm so hungry. You made things sound urgent, so I skipped second breakfast. This is urgent, Duly. Fine, but after all this, you're buying me pancakes. <gasps> and donuts. And other things. Please, many. And waffles, yes. There's the remains of a long forgotten roast chicken in here. It's not edible, Dooley. Mm, I want it. That liquid, that liquid is so dark and stinky. I wouldn't put my hand in there for any reward. Wind the hook. No knives, scissors, or other sharp objects. What a convenient inconvenience. Hmm. No source of la of fire. I can't get the gas. Still, do I vibe with you? You're a hobbit. Oh. So without fire, can we use it? I just need this to magically float. No, that's all. I guess I'd best try something else. That's a large chandelier. Jeez, if that dropped on somebody, I'd it really hurt. I see. I see. So back here, because we didn't click on everything, I wanted to look at the note. It was just enter mentions right away. So, condemned sign. I don't see why it's condemned. Looks like a perfect, perfectly fine sign to me. These board windows make. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's strange equipment. Yeah, that's the most important thing I think here. This must belong to whoever is in there. This stuff looks dangerous. I'd better power it down for now. We got a battery. But why? Blood Wolf trick. Combine battery with steel wool to make a fire starter. Little Emily told me that. That's plausible. Fire starter. Okay, perfect. And then light the candle. If I light this while it's still in my pocket, it burn my coat. My precious, precious coat. I saw such a beautiful trench coat. It was 400 slotted though, so I didn't buy it. But it's like perfect, like detective trench coat. I kind of want it, but it's super expensive. Mm. Doesn't look like it's working. Let's just leave this here. Yeah, and now can I? This should be able to burn through the robe in a su suitably slow and dramatic fashion. Ro oh. Slash, plash, boom. It's uh, safe to come out now. Detective, it's now a good time to mention I'm allergic to fire. How? Good job, thank you. Oh, Raksa? You guys, I owe you big time. What are you doing here? Actually, for no reason. No reason at all. We should go outside before you tell us. <gasps> She's wearing Ghostbusters. <laughs> Thanks for saving me back there. Are you okay? I am. Thanks to you guys. Okay. What? What's with the get up? I am in Spooker now. Since I kept finding myself at weird goings on. I licensed myself a franchise and there was a localized storm here last night so I knew that meant something was happening after the events at the library. Good catch. Is this your equipment? It is. It's a spooktometer. Do you like it? It reads for spooktivity. I brought it with me to help get readings. But I got trapped in that room and I didn't get to look at the readings yet. Well, the battery is kind of 
burnt. So, trapped by that creature. Hmm. Later, yes, but not at first. There were people here searching the place. Their accents were hard to understand, but they were looking for Don. But he's been dead for a while. Yeah, they left when they realized that. I waited a while to make sure they didn't come back. But then that thing burst out of the floor and I was trapped again. So what do the readings say? That's all. The battery is missing. Well... Thankfully, there's a printout inside it. Give me a second while I open it. Wow! Lots of spectral readings. However, whatever I was looking for the dawn, they weren't human. Dooley! I just figured it out! The Darksiders aren't looking for something at the Don's house. They are looking for the Don! But he said he was dead. Which is why they took the gem of Osiris and the ritual components. They are trying to resurrect him. Oh wow, you did that all by yourself? Wow, detective. What amazing coincidence that every place the chief sent us was tied in so tightly with what's really going on. If we had been sent to even a one different location, you may never have pieced it all together. There's no time to work out the undoubtedly small probability of things having worked out like this. We need to get to the graveyard and fast, we can't let him return. You should probably leave too, Raxa. Because of that fire you started? Fire? What fire? You must be seeing things, probably starved from being inside, but for the mind. Make sure to eat something when you leave, which you should do now. For food, not fire. <clears throat> I think that went smoothly. <laughs> okay, the graveyard. Here we go. I love the way this game is written. I really, really like it. This is Detective McQueen. We have tracked the source of all this to the graveyard, rescue, requesting backup. This is uh, scattered across this. Nobody able to help. Your your own detective drat. The looks, it's just you and me, Dooley. McQueen and Dooley solving crimes while looking coolly. Cute. So the telescope. I wonder if we can get an overview of the situation from here. Can we? Oh, that's bad. It's what I feared. The place is swarming with zombies. Oh no. <gasps> is this done? These must be the Darksiders we've heard about. They're firing at somebody inside the church. I can't make out who though. Look to the over there. There's some bad mambo jumbo happening at the crypt. We need to stop them from bringing the Don back. I guess it's thriller, thriller night. Yeah, I think. Oh, stars! See that constellation, detective? That's called stars. Thank you, Dooley. I think I left the oven on, detective. I should probably get home. If we don't take care of this, there'll be no homes to go back to. Yeah, I know. He doesn't want to. Okay, Dooley, let's go. The zombies were parting. Yeah. No doubt about it. There's zombies on, right? Looks like we're not getting in that way. She's calm. I hope that gate holds. They're far too eager to uh, far too eager a welcoming party. Squad car. Maybe leaving the lights on wasn't the best way to sneak up to this place. Maybe it wasn't. Might need this night stick to keep the welcoming party at the bay. Might stick, not night stick. No, it's night stick. Police officer's best friend. Hey! Hey, bros! Pastor Farley. Farley. Hey, bros. I need help. I'm being confronted with dangers to both my physical self and my dogmatic views on the universe here. Nice. For the priest. There's somebody trapped in the church. If we don't get in and help them, they'll be zombie fodder. I don't want to bat them. Move right. <gasps> oh, I didn't want to hit them. Finally, a positive application for police brutality. Rawr! Well, it's hand broke off, but it doesn't seem to care. We might need another way in. Oh, I traded a bat 
for a zombie arm. Helping hand and forearm. Alright. Okay. Let's move right then. I don't think there's anything else here. Such a fair switch. Very, yeah. One to one. Water tower in the graveyard. Oh, the. As for low budget holy water, the priest can bless it after a heavy rain. Kinda smart. Kinda smart, not gonna lie. This one for you, Dolly. How many cops does it take to change a light bulb? No idea, but thankfully it's working, so no, not our concern. Also, street lights fall under the city maintenance department and not the police. I thought you'd know that, detective. That was insert the joke. That was supposed to be a joke there. Dooley, what do you think? When all this is done, I might look into a safe job like garbage disposal. Are you kidding? Government have spies all over landfills digging through our trash. Actually, that I could believe. Yeah. Yeah. If we get this into position, it can get over the wall. I can get over the wall. It's stuck. The wheels seem to be rusted. Okay, we need something to get the rust off of the wheels. Oh, there's a manhole. And this is where we're supposed to go, I think. Broken railing as well. The wall is too high to jump over. Dolly, give me a boost. I would detect it, but I would put my back out in the gym this... Oh, but I put my back out in the gym this morning. We're going to have to find another way. Manhole? It's covered by some massive dumpster. I wonder if there's another manhole on the other side of this wall. So this is rusted. Can you give me a helping hand? I don't think more help pushing is the answer here. Oh. Worth trying. No? The wheels seem to be rusted. Anything I can do? We don't have anything. What are we missing? Something definitely missing. And four. This is stuck. How do we get this unstuck? They have an idea. The wheels seem to be rusted. What do you do when the wheels are rusted? There are some glitch to or something. The substances. I don't have any. Can I shake your hand with that? I'll try something else. Somebody else? No, something else. Okay. You? Doesn't look like it's working. Hmm, I wonder. Zombie arm. Yeah, I'm trying all over. It doesn't look like it's working. Squad car. Can I have anything else? Charge bell tower. Yeah, but it's just him. Okay. Dooley was saying something? I can't believe I'm entering a rival parish. The things I do for this job. Hmm. Can I just move right? At the container. Oh, I can look in dumpster. Ooh. Okay. Ah, oil can. An oil can. I could use that to oil the wheels, but I can't quite reach for it. <laughs> okay, in position now to squeeze this muscle and got it. Okay, thank you, Leonis. Yeah, that inspired me. It appears to be a box of stew. Is it warm? Could... No, Dooley. You could not eat the old box of stew. A bag full of magic eight balls. What do they say? Ask again later. Oh, but I want to know. Fun. Okay. All that up. No, not man, hold the dumpster. That's the wheels oiled up. Let's push this into position, Dooley. So should we climb over or go down? Let's check the manhole first. Dooley's so hungry. Yeah, he could eat from the garbage. Okay, Dooley, I'll go over the wall. You go through the sewers. Hopefully, that way one of us can save those people and stop the Don from being brought back. Have I mentioned that I don't like to... 
Not the time body. The city needs us. Hello. Hey, detective. Yeah? Be careful. Be careful out there. You too, buddy. You too. Ooh, we're playing as Dooley. Okay. That way is blocked off by large gates. What secret are you hiding, gate? When all this is done, I'm going to launch an investigation into you. I'll call it Gate Gate. Oh, nice. No doubt this is a secret bolt hole for government in informants. Probably is. Gate, yeah. Dudley has his moments. I love, I love him. The way he, the things he says. Here's how the government pumps that dehydrogen no monoxide into our homes. Monsters. All right, nothing to collect. Oh, hello, sewer gated. Mm. A TV show on urban legends. What nonsense. Watched by an urban legend. Love that. Hey little guy, what are you doing down here? I'm watching my stories. Let me be. A gator? In the sewers? Watching TV? Oh, that story checks out to me. Enjoy, mister. Just keep an eye out for the cannibals. Alright. Nothing here. Focus, Patrick. This is not the time for a refreshing gut wrecking bacteria infested swim. Good. Swamp puppy. Aww. So chillin'. I love the swamp puppy thing. Because of this guy that makes the shorts. F not Florida man, but you know what, what I mean. This box holds all the power in the city, electrical and political. Snip snap, snip snap. Oh, well, that looks familiar. That boat's not the only thing floating down here. Ah. Evil clown. Hi, pounce mark. Mm. Hi, Dooley. Aren't you gonna say hello? What's I gonna go? What's the clown doing down here? This isn't the circus. Uh, hey, I give balloons to wayward kitties. Do you know? Do you know? And hey, there's cotton candy and rides and all the sorts of surprises down here. Surprises? They mentioned balloons come in all colors? Huh. There's no harm in any of this. Right. Oh, that's suiting for the... Yeah. Absolutely. Scenery. Uh, I see no harm in any of this. Good on your for... Good on you for making sure those lost kids aren't frightened. Um, thanks. As you were. You too? Yeah, leaving that be. Good, good. Oh no. It's government. Gents, interesting sign you have here. Um, thanks. What, um, what are you working on? Us? We're repairing the power lines. You've noticed all those flickering lights across the city recently. We're going to fix that. That sure is great. A great excuse. Do you think I'm an idiot? Um, I see a sign that's inverted eye. You guys were eye masons. Refrigerate? What? No, the other one. Freeze! I mean freeze! This is why so many of my TV dinners spoil. Oh. Drop your stuff and get out here. I'd arrest you, but I have places to be. What are you talking about? We're just here to... F resisting arrest, is it? I guess we gotta listen to Fisser and take the rest day off, Tyrese. Sure, it'll be nice to get some. Uh, it'll be nice to get home to the family early for a change. These were the only one. Genuines. A lot of activity in so A lot, yeah. Every five steps. Kango Hammer. I'll confiscate this so that they can't return to the whatever shady business they were at. Sure. Oh, that's what the Kango Hammer is, okay. The Kango Hammer being unused. Oh, being he used by the secret agents of chaos. Devilish debris from a cunning foe. Okay, construction parts. So one way to put it. 
some pipes and a hole. I wonder what nasty business they were up to. Digging a, a hole to the planet hidden inside the planet? Or building a lair for the lizard people who secretly rule over us? Maybe they were planning to sacrifice something to the moment. Whatever it was, it's been thwarted. Okay. Alright. Oh, another sewer gate. This gate is blocking me from going any further. If only there was a way past it. Yeah? When life gives you lemons, smash those lemons with a hammer. Then send the lemons car carcasses back to life so it knows not to mess with you again. Meanwhile, okay, that's a little bit crazy. Do we watching Marvel? Do we being a superhero? Ben Haunty, okay. Grave, oh, you're looking? No, coincidence. Grave McKay, McCabe. Crushed by writer's block. I like that. I could have that on my tombstone. Drowned in a stack of overflow. Sucks. Paul Bear Conway. Painted himself into a corner. Shit. Nobody heard what happened to him. Ooh, Ben Haunty. Hmm. And Chris Goldstone. Eaten alive by box. Sucks. Shed. Anything else? Oh, crypt. Oh, later on. Let's shed first. Smithy. Oh, who's that hot guy here? We've been breached. Charge. Oh, wait. Pricky, I do apologize. I thought you were the Hun. Some uh, come to munch on my brain for military secrets. But I can't tell now you're a Yankee boy. It's in the stands. Not rigid enough. Shoulders like a melted ice cream on a sunny Sunday morning. <sighs> He's been trying. So painful that. Oh, was it eaten by the box? Yeah. This seems obscure enough to be useful. Hands off, old boy. Those hunts inside smell dreadful. Outside, not inside. Outside. That mask is my only protection. Ah, puts in my size. Like them old chap? They're yours. Belong to a sergeant of mine in the war. Thanks? Wait a second. These aren't normal boobs. boots. They've got metal sockets in them. He had mechanical legs, needed special shoes that would click on. That's why I have no use for him. Hmm. How generous. Special boots. A pair of old military boots modified so something metal can click into them. I wonder what use we will have for that. That's a nice helmet. It's poor form to comment on another man's piece, old champ. What do you mean? <gasps> grave digger. Oh, grave digger, not graveyard keeper. Okay. And trenching shovel. I'm afraid you can't have that, old chap. I needed to bash zombies Fritz. Should he try to enter my bunker? Okay. And the stove, so nice and warm. Another reason to not want to get back out there. Built it myself from the plain parts after I was shot down here during the Great War. Sir, it's been a while. It's a great war, but really, it was mediocre at best. Some opinions. Can I help you out, old bean? Who are you? Brigadier Reginald Smith. Smith to my friends. Of course, I have no friends. No time for friends in the army, eh? Surely you're not still in the army? My dear chap, when you sign up, you sign up for life. How long have you been here, chap? Blimey, I don't Johnny well know. Crashed here as a young man, took a job as a grave digger, as I wasn't a citizen. All happened some time ago, I should imagine. You're not that young anymore, yeah. Are you okay? You look like you've been through a lot. This is just a scratch. Where? Oh, you have no hand? Or oh, doesn't look like it. You should have seen the Han when we were done with them. Where's your arm, sir? You're a military man. Can you help gear me up for the fight? I've been with the war effort? Sounds piffy. I still have my military kit. Let's see. There's my mestin. Thing seems messy enough here already. A water bottle, but it's been shot up. A ground sheet. 
A sheet would probably be more use if it hasn't been ground up. It's not looking good, old chap. I'll tell you what. Take my gas mask. Oh, It's over there on the shelf. Thanks. And think to stop Fritz in his tracks. Toodle peep. And I... Now, be careful with that. Probably still has some mustard gas caked, caked into it. Where was this when I was hunting down those gremlins? Right, yeah, we had to improvise a little bit then. Okay, no helmet for us. No, no, no. And no shovel. As long as he's alive. Or here. Here. Look here, Slim. We got us a stray zombie. <laughs> yeah, stray. France. Fire a few rounds to chase it off and be thankful that we age gods a horde to deal with. <laughs> yeah, horde. Alright. Keep, keeps on doing that. The metal circle inside me leaves no room for feet. Maybe something else would click in. What could click in? It's not working. That's okay. Oh, okay. We haven't been. Okay, there's a left side. My bad. Scaffolding. I hope this structure is sturdy because a piece of this could prove handy. Yeah? Yeah, the scaffolding is a perfect fit. Okay. Thought so. Are we building some kind of mannequin out of that? Let's go to the ladder. Okay, water tower. It seems to be full of rainwater. Let's bless it. We will bless it later. It's another crime scene, eh, Moon? I think it's time we had a little talk down at the station. You're always there, Moon. But we need to get back here with a priest, I think. Ladder up, tower legs. The legs of this tower look badly damaged. Oh yeah, quite, yeah. A pipe? I guess it's for exercise, for excess water to run into the sewers. Hmm. Brains. I can't pass by them, but maybe I can find a way to go over them and get in through that broken window. Roar. Oh, I need to get out of here before I get much done. What do I do then? Gas mask? Unless there's gas, I'm not putting this thing on. Maybe we can find a better use for it. Uh oh. Ooh, can I wear that? Okay, let's try these out. Yeah. Yeah. They can't get me all the way up here. Oh, brains. Broken window. Dark side goons shoot out the window, giving me a handy way in. <gasps> Ooh, Agent Max Scre Max Screen? What are you doing here? What are any of us doing anywhere? Helpful as ever. I need to save whoever is trapped in the bell tower and figure out a plan to get to the crypt and stop that ritual. I can still hear the zombies outside. Brains, 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 brains. Sounds like they're arguing. If only I could understand them. I think you do. Exit is here. We don't want that. Altar left or right. Oh, we can talk with him probably, right? What are you doing here? I circle the wounded, barking at the beasts that would feast on carrion. That's still not helpful. I'm going to presume you mean I'm here because other Darksiders are here. Presumptions is the mother of dragons. No much of to misunderstand. Yeah, for them, yeah. But this, he leaves a lot for interpretation. It's a very nice stained glass. Hey there, any chance of a miracle? No? Alright. Maybe next time. The sensor is full of old caked in moldy smelling incense. Mm, my favorite. Those candles are bigger than my head. They are! Interestingly enough, they are. Yeah. Can you collect any of them? No. Chief Gooley! Oh, oh! What's going on here? What are you doing in the bright side? Oh, me inerts. Are you okay? Been shot, son, right in the gut. So it was you and Max Scream those goons were shooting at. That it were, son. 
Burning up from the inside out I am. Dark side bullets is not like yours. What with them being full of cursed components as they were. What can I do to help? Can we remove the bullet? Cannot be removed normally, son. I need some purified water to wash the badness out. I'll have a look around. As you were then, son. So the holy water, probably. From the tank. Can you help me understand the zombies? Son, I am bleeding out through old switch. Was not meant for the bleeding out of. I cannot be of help on any court count right now. Oh, oh, oh. no, I'm dying. Doing so bad. Vestry, bell tower. Puce. Puce is the. Oh. Sorry. Clicked out of the thing. And this is Puce. Okay, altar. So, vestry. Alright, calendar. A blocky dog's calendar. Checks out. And I think here drawers. It has the core religious text from all major faiths and notes saying, just in case. I think this is emergency. Letter opener. Pens, a letter opener, some reading glasses with the lenses popped out. I'll take the letter opener. Yeah. It looks like a cross. I wish I had a nice chair like this. Oh, thank you. I will drink water. Yeah, finished the mm, mm, coffee. I'll have some sip. Thank you. Cheers. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. I wish I had a nice chair like this back in the office. I couldn't confiscate this for the case, could I? No. Could I know? No. Dooley wood. It's a heavy duty shredder. It could probably even tear up clothes. That's an important, probably, thing. Very specific. Back to the altar. Upstairs we go. Oh! Stop right there. Stop right there. Get back, demon bro. Oh. Great, now I'm soaked. Darling, though you were a hollow head. Ah, oh, thought you were a hollow head. Total light, total wipeout on my end, bruh. I love that the upper part is priests and the bottom, sorry, like summer shorts. Right, do you have a towel I can borrow? An assortment of extreme sporting goods, from scuba tanks to hang gliders, and oddly, face paints. Why do you have all this? Dude, I like to extreme to the max. And you can't extreme to the max without painting your, painting your face. But the scuba tank is bust. I lost the mouthpiece. I'm gonna throw it out. Hmm, mind if I take it? Sure, dude, enjoy. Why do I need a scuba tank? Anything else here? Sorry for the washout, dude. What was that about? Whole heads don't like holy water, my friend Amigo. Turns them into mush burgers. Good to know. Can I have some holy water? For our dude, happy to share the Lord's liquid. Love that. That's vibing priest. Oh, absolutely. He's like a surfer type, but a priest. Don't say it like that. I'm way low right now, wasting my last wipeout on you. But you can have my dregs. But dude, it's not enough to mush a hollow. I got some, that's good. Came to save you, are you okay? Given the circumstances, I'm happy to be topside and not drowning in a swell of undead. We need to get you to out of here. If you can cause a break in that wave of undead. Even more? Thank you. Thank you, Nogi. Um, I want some tea now. Cheers. Cheers, Nogi. Thank you. Alright. If you can cause a break in that wave of undead, I can get myself out, dude. Mm, how will I do that? Like the surfer listens to the sea, maybe you should listen to the dead. That actually, that might work. Good idea. The Lord speaks through 
me, Rosif. What with all the sports gear? It was meant to be... I was meant to be going on an extreme sports holiday, but I stayed to bless some babies. Bro, I will not make that mistake again. Don't. Sayonara, dude. Okay. Okay. Squatang, but no mouthpiece. A tiny sharp knife. Okay. Shiny bell. Thanks, I polished it myself. Let's go down. I have some holy water for you. Use this to wash your wound. Much better. Thank you, son. Feel better now? Much better. Ready to find the forces of evil once more. I knew I was right about you. Good egg, this one. Can you help me understand the zombies now? No, I could never speak to the dead myself. Neither a necromancer or a cryptic speaker be. Drat. I was sure that was kind of thing your darksiders could do. That song is what you call racism. Hmm. Well, good day, son, and Godspeed. So you can't? Maybe you can't, but you can. I spoke with Gurley. As he still fester, it's in the pits of agony. Agony. He's recovering now. Only if you consider getting better to be recovering. It's precisely what it is, isn't it? Right. Do you think you can teach me to talk to zombies? Are we not all, in a way, zombies? Listen closely. Sometime later. Okay. Huh. That was easier than I thought. Everything is easy for the ignorant. Hey! Okay, let's find out what those zombies are saying. And yeah, brains. Let's try this again. Brains, brains, brains. Brains? Brains. They are angry and confused. If I can disguise myself as one of them, I think I could you uni unionize oh unionize. Unionize them and lead them away from the church. I need to find a way to make myself look and smell less alive. Huh, how would I do that? Okay, not going out there. I look and smell too alive. Without the disguise, I'd be eaten alive. What do I do? The mask should hold up as a replacement for breathing apparatus for a few minutes at least. So we got the scuba kit. That's good. What do we need the letter opener for? To break something maybe? But what? Shredder... The door? Hmm. No, we don't need to open the door. We're not opening the door because there are zombies outside. Letter opener. I think I'll try something else. Okay. Sorry, Cole, but I need to look more undeadish. Oh, that's That's what happened. Okay. So I'm not doing anything with that. Calendar. Some drawers. Scuba. Let's it open her. Should I stab him? Oh wait, this one was filthy. The sensor is full of old coked in moldy smelling incense. If I can find a way to scrape some of it loose, I can use it to mask my lovely living smell. Let him? Yeah. And done! Boy, that stinks. Okay. Okay, I think, yeah. I think that's it. I smell dead, my clothes look right, but I still look too alive to pass as some of them. As one of them. This? Still not enough. What else do we need? Hmm. What else do we need to look more dead? <laughs> Calendar, drawers, just in case, chair, shredder, nothing else here, so I don't think we have to get back here anymore. The bell tower? Oh, the paints! Give me the paints! Can you use your face paints to make me look like undead? I can do that, 110% bro. 
Persons only go up to one hundred. One ten bra. One ten. Fine. Perfect. Yeah. Sayonara, dude. Dudeski. Yeah. Nice. Back here and we can go. Okay, I should be able to pass as one of them now. And we can talk now? Brains. Um, brains? Brains. Brains? Brains. Brains? Brains, 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 brains. Okay. They've agreed to unionize under my leadership. That went smoothly. Time to go talk to the people who brought them back. Okay. Sure thing. People who brought them back. Here? The crypt? Mamma mia, it's a zombie horde. Run, Slim. <laughs> yeah, run. Okay, nice. Car key. Those goons must have dropped these before running off. Okay. The zombies are here. Do we need to talk? Grrr. Yeah. We're good. So, let's go to the crypt. Stop right there. Too late, bright side there. Rawr, I live. Oh no. He is no zombie. He is a human, you fools. Brains? Uh oh. Destroy him. Brains? Uh oh. They're against me now. What's there? So this is how it ends. Not with a bang, but with a me whimpering. Oh, that's perfect. I think this is about to give in. Oh, that's... Oh, Dooley. Yes. Dooley! He's trapped under rubble with all those zombies. I need to save him. The priest said that holy water turned them to mush. But where would I find enough of it? I think I know just the place. Magical paint? They used it to mark those markings and summon Corpson's soul into our Don's body. We took it just in case. A zombie's ladder. I don't understand why a floating being needs a ladder to paint on walls, but I'm glad they do. This could make a possible wa walkway. Yeah, we need that. Because we're kind of stuck here. Hole in floor. This should get me across. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I think we can go. Dooley for the rescue. Ah, Semi-conscious. Why aren't they trying to eat him? Brains. That's why. A statue of Saint Monica, patron saint of being trapped in spooky crypts with bad guys. Right. We need to go to the... Um, not even water tower, but church. Inside the church. To the priest and ask priest to say the prayers and bless the water. I need to bless the water tower for me. Bro, are you for real, bro? I've gotten all the undead into the sewers and need to flush them fast. <gasps> I've been waiting to be asked to churn out that much god juice, like literally forever. You have a distinct way of talking about your faith. What can I say, bruh? The Lord is my surf guy. Sure. We hang tight and hang often, and I want to bring the whole world out on the waves with us. But we, the Lord and I, take safety mucho serioso. Take this life ring with you, in case you get caught up in the flood. A flood to wash the sinners away. Super biblical, bro. Super biblical. <laughs> or something. Dude, bro. I'm gonna do go do my thing, bro. May the big G be on your side. The big G. I love that. Tiny bell. Okay. We go here, here, here. Back to the tower. See if he's doing mambo jumbo. Bro, I'm all over this, bro. Go do your thing. I'll be ready, bro. It's me blessing. I better get away. Okay. Everything else ready. What do you mean everything else? Can't go back. Oh, should we warn this guy? Because he's still there in the shed. Is the hunt charged? Not this again, Smithy. It's me. I'm disguised. Ah, the Yankee boy. Black Ops behind enemy lines, is it? Something like that, yeah. As you were then. Uh, but you don't have anything new, okay. You needed water. Yeah, the blessed water. But it's mid. 
enduring blessing. Can we open the car? If I crash this into the water tower now, the zombies will be nuked sure, but Dooley will be drowned. I need to make sure he's got some way to breathe first. Ah, uh, that's the plan. Can I give it to you? Quickly, put this on buddy. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have life ring. Um, that's it for now. Maybe crashing the car now? Okay, Dooley is ready. I'm ready. Are you ready, Abder, father? Kawabanga! I probably we will need a life ring. I'll take that as a yes. Kawabanga indeed. Best of luck, dude. I'm off on my own vacay. Okay, smooth. Perfect. But it's locked in place and the car is good to go. I hope my aim is true. Oh, that's why they noticed that the legs are wanky. All damaged up. Alright. And they get watered up. Yeah. That's so terrifying. With the sewers also getting up. Oh, fudge. Hey, do you okay there, buddy? Ugh. Feeling a little wet behind the ears, but I'm okay. Glad to hear it. <gasps> no! Ah! You took my minions! I'll have to create new ones, starting with your friend. <laughs> Hold on, Dooley. Damn it, if only there was a way I could send the Dawn back to the dark side. Don Corpson. He's got Dooley. I need to think fast. I don't know. What else? I need to send him. If I had something to send him, I have the magical paint, but I don't know. I don't know. Paint walls. There's already painting here. What do I do? No, it's only on t those two. Paint over them. Doesn't work. Something else. Nothing seems to be happening. Can I connect them? I can! <gasps> okay, I, I had to connect them. Oh, I know what we're doing. We're copying these. So we can throw it on the Don Kropsone. Okay, smart, clever. I need to copy the ritual markings onto this ring to turn it into a makeshift portal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that will be none. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, we can do that. This goes here. Then this one here. Then this here. Uh, which one will that be? No, this one. Then pew pew pew. And all of them look like pew pew pew. Here, here, and this one here. Alright. My improvised portal is ready for use. Go! I just need to take careful aim. No! Oh, that worked so perfectly. Got him! Enjoy your exile back to the dark side. Okay, Dooley. <laughs> a lift detective. Good. I was worried about you there for a minute, buddy. Let's get you out of those sewers. We did it, guys. We did it. Now then, now then, now then. No. Then. We arrested the rest of these compliances and locked them away. This on co operated to reduce his sentence. Reversed the ritual's side effect that raised the dead in your city. Should be that all the undead is back to being plain old dead now. Good, because I had no idea how I was going to fix that. That was crazy dangerous magic guy. I was young and innocent. He's nearly sled. It happened a half an hour ago. I've grown a lot in that time. A new man. Ready for parole, I'd say. Anyway, we owe you for this, Bright Sidus. 
You're welcome. I say anytime, but let's make sure this never happens again. Hmm? How about that? Hi, mom. Mom's in the chat. Perfect timing. Absolutely. Let's get processing this a lot. Eh, engine? All right. Sometime later. Dick Brickman here with Detective Mac King, who just received a medal, medal for stopping the riots across the city. Just heard the phone ringing in the nearby state. Graveyard has two for one sale on newly available graves. Oh my god, okay. Can you tell me, Dick Brickman, and them, viewers of Dick Brickman, what happened, Detective? There were riots across the city and um, now there are it. Light on the details there, Detective. Your wife is the mayor. Is that a conflict of interest? No. There you have it, friends. No conflicts and one fancy medal. Congratulations to the detective. From me, Dick Brickman. After all that, I can't believe he got a medal instead of you, detective. You're saying that the water tower burst a few days prior to a uh, prior and got tainted by dead bodies before leaking into the reservoir, giving everyone temporary madness. At least we know what happened. You were here with detective. Oh do we? Thanks, buddy. That means a lot. Oh, so sweet. Case closed. Okay. And that concludes the main portion of the game. There are some bonuses which we will cover as well. But yeah, for the main game, that's that's it. That's it. Patrick Dooley as Patrick Dooley. Okay. Dave McCabe. Awesome. The Polaroid. So are Dooley. So, disc 13 out of 60, okay. This game came out quite some time ago. Uh, I'm very happy I played through it. It's surprisingly... I thought that this would gradually get harder and harder. I think that the pinnacle of hardness, however that sounds, was case uh, number... What was it? Four, one, two, three, four. Four? The one in the police station, because it was a lot of different places, right? Um, quite a lot of items to find, to work things out. And I was quite worried that today, the fifth and sixth case, will be quite problematic as well, even more so than the previous ones. But we swimmed through them pretty much. I'm very happy about that. I didn't get stumped anywhere. Especially with the fifth one, it was just, yeah, I knew exactly what I was supposed to do. And it was very, very fun to play through. Memory of Peter Farley. Rest in peace, Peter. No pixels were harmed in the making of this game. Some right wrists were carpal tunneled, however. Shit, sucks. And the resemblance to actual persons living or dead or actual events in pure is purely coincidental. The guy who you are pretty sure you met on that budget cruise that one time. Any photos you have with him in them are fictional and should be buried. Or blah, 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 blah. The government wants you to know that this is a work of fiction, especially the stuff about ghosts. <laughs> okay, I can't read that fast, that'd be crazy. The unauthorized reproduction of all part of this product. Yeah, you'll probably get away with it, but yeah. But don't do that. Spooky doorway. And the moon. Moon. We need to talk. One denied is fictional. Hmm. <gasps> Vacay of the priest. Ooh, the dark side detective will return in a fumble in the dark. I'm pretty sure there is a DLC, to be fair. So, that may be what it is. Okay, so, as I mentioned, this concludes the full game. Well, the base game. Then there are these three bonuses. I don't know how big they are, but this is something that we will tackle next time. Hope you enjoyed it, and my dear, dear VOD watchers, have a good night. I hope this was a very nice and pleasant thing for you to listen to while you are drifting off to sleep. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.